It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1584, recorded Thursday, August 18th, 2016. Bright ideas! On this episode of the Gizwiz, let there be light! We have a light-filled episode full of LED bulbs, gloves, and projectors. Steve has a foldable USB charger, and Eric has a lightsaber toothpick. So sit back and let us brighten up your day on this episode of The Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now! now. You know, I, I forgot to mention uh, the candles we'd be showing off uh, also. we Really a candle-filled episode of old technology. Wow. Yeah, I forgot. Wow. You know, we're going to be bringing back the candle uh, as a main source of light uh, in, the, in the show. Yeah. I am, oh, okay. I am, I am All right, I'm up for anything. that in the, in the intro. No. <laughs> what have you been up to this week, Dickie D? Oh, uh, I've been up to updating... You, you know what? Uh, Google is great for getting help on things. Right. And then sometimes you get steered the wrong way. I have an app that I love or loved, I'll put it in the past, called At TV from Belkin. And At TV, I don't know if you ever heard of this, it hooks up to the back of your cable box. And then there's an app for your phone, and you once you download the app, no matter where you go in the world, if there's Wi-Fi, you can watch your own cable box. Huh. And what what I loved about that was that no matter where I was, I could watch local Channel Seven News, and if if I was on World News Now, I could see it in the New York Time Zone, and then again in the time zone where I was, and then. And I watched uh, TV. On, I use it to watch TV on my boat, and. Uh, about 10 days ago, I turned it on and it said uh, internal error, communication error, whatever it was. So I typed in internal error and it says, you know, uh, erase the app, put it in again. That didn't work. Erase the app store. <laughs> what? And, yes, I know. Erase the app store and put it in. It didn't work. Uh, Download, reboot the phone. Do a hard. I'm doing all this as I'm finding these things. I'm doing them all, Chad. And then I stumble upon one that says, "Isn't it terrible that the latest Android update now has eliminated Belkin at TV ever working again?" What? <laughs> I know. And I'm thinking, why didn't I see that as the first? Yeah. 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 yeah, but doesn't it doesn't it annoy you when you spend like a hundred dollars for a gadget, and, and then in they an just update, decide, it's like gone. Yeah, it's gone. I it's agree. just gone. Yeah. I oh my gosh, that's got to be the worst. And I mean, also coming from a business point of view, you know, if a business goes under, I'm actually surprised. Remember the the gadget we checked out last week, the Corky egg. Thing. You know, I'm surprised yes. it still works. Corky, that, that side of Corky is way out of business. I'm yes. surprised the app even allowed it to work, but I'm glad that it did. I was actually, you know, I, I thought specifically of that is even though this is a dead, you know, <laughs> section of this company, it still is being supported. Thank, you know, good on them. That's yes, the no, worst absolutely. whenever you, you get something and uh, yeah, because the company went under, the company doesn't support it anymore. You're, yeah. you're out of luck. You are out no. of luck. Yeah, no, Dennis uses uh, Adobe Illustrator, and now it's unsupported since they went to Windows 7. Oh, gosh. And now you have to pay, I think, $30 a month for an online version. Yeah, and for uh, yes. Adobe Creative Cloud, yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly. So yeah. the Gizwiz, we're, we're not changing anything. Nuh-uh. We'll support this show. Even when we're, we're, we're not here, there'll be downloads available. I mean, that's exactly. one nice thing about, like, YouTube and things like that is you just throw them up there and... 
I assume YouTube will be around in 10 years. Yes. Uh, but, you know, you shouldn't say throw up and uh, when you mention our show. Uh, right. You, <laughs> right, right. Well, we, we, put our, we put our shows online. We don't throw them up there. We don't throw them up. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, for the list, that's for the <laughs> listeners to do. They throw up every time they get a show. Yes. Yeah. That's not our job. That's your job. No. Yeah. We don't want to be stepping on anyone's and, toes. And, and how about you? What was, what was with you this past week? Uh, gosh, what did happen this past week? Uh, not much. Um, yeah, just normal life. Life is normal. I, I, I did spend a really long amount of time, probably about three or four hours trying to, you may have just saw a glitch there on screen, trying to update the, what we run the Gizwiz on to a, a newer version. Uh, the software that we use to record the show is an old version of, uh, well, it's not even an old version. It's actually the current current version. Uh, but the software company, it's funny. This is exactly what we're talking about, is the support thing with the software, uh, is they, they're now branching off into a new version. I use a thing called OBS to record. And they're focusing all their efforts on a new product called OBS Studio. OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. Um, and I spent a good... I, I would say about three hours uh, trying to make get all the assets over, all the lower thirds, resetting up hotkeys, you know, so that the monocaster will work with it. Uh, and I got to add uh, to, to the point where I'm adding videos in. You know, it's just a simple, like, okay, let's add some videos into a playlist. And they have removed the option for the audio to go back to my computer. So, because I use a, 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 a mixer. Um, the audio can only go to the recording and to the stream, which doesn't seem like that bad of a thing, except me and you, Dick, wouldn't be able to hear the audio of any video that we played. So, uh, yeah, we kind of need that. Yeah, I, I th you know, we like to comment on the videos that, that play and stuff like that. Yes. Um, so I spent a, uh, a while trying to do that, and I was a little miffed. Uh, you know, and of course you have to do, this is open, you know, this isn't a uh, paid for software, it's an open software. And so you have to go read forum posts and go through the, and just, you know, maybe ask your friend who knows a lot about these programs, like, hey, is this a thing? And yeah, it is. And it's just, for, and you'll see it from the lead developer in January says, oh yeah, this is a feature I'd like to add in the next two patches. And like, I look and it's been like 13 patches since he said that. And yeah, um, not, not fun, not fun. Oh my God. So you're just <laughs> going to continue with the old version. I yeah. Assume. And uh, the problem with the old version, you'll see it right here, is if I'm waving and I bring up a lower third, you can see that ghost of my hand uh, it doesn't do a very good job of, of keeping sources between scenes. Anyway, it's all technical, but, uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, right? That's, of that's course right. you'd understand, Dick. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, there's some things in the new software that I was really looking forward to. But bummer that uh, I, we can't play videos. That's kind of a, a major issue. So, yeah. Radio Rod calls it OBS. OBS, <laughs> that program yes. that I use to switch the Gizwiz. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I guess let's jump into some gadgets. We weren't lying. But it's all LED gadgets. Everything. All outside the time. of our gadget, uh, outside of our warehouse gadget, everything is uh, LED, starting with, well, you're, you're going to recognize, as soon as the video starts, you're going to recognize the first gadget, and then I'm going to show you why that first gadget is old hat now. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's listen to this with audio. Yes. How about that? Okay, good. Yeah, let's do that. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Metastrider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv and disco. Okay. Years ago, not years ago, maybe two years ago, um, Chad found this disco bowl it returns. on Amazon. No, actually he found it at a Halloween store. And I think he paid $20. And then I fell in love with it, but I found it for $10. Then some viewers found it for $5. Then I think someone found it for $3. 
Uh, anyway, I ended up buying three or four of them. I'm going to turn this light on and tell you what we're going to do. Uh, my first one stopped. It just froze after... I, I got a lot of mileage out of it. And this one I think I paid six dollars for. But now I found this online. The LED full color... What? Double the fun! Yes! ...rotating lamp. Is it that much better? Well, I don't know. That's why we have YouTube. Whoa! The, look at this. Look at this construction. <laughs> it's the same, but Actually, I'm more worried about this construction because this, <laughs> this thing has a huge gap in it. And this has almost no gap in it. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, yes. So we're going to see. Uh, go up to the ceiling again one more time, Dennis. All right. Freeze That's what that, that image looks in like. your mind. Yep. Okay. And you can go back down, and we're going to the double. You know, double this disco looks like is what I call it. It's good because these face out the side. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll find out together. I agree. It's uh, not going to really put um, many patterns on the ceiling. It this seems. is what makes YouTube so enlightening. All right, let me turn on my. This one that seems has no brand name. It is the LED. Full color rotating. Oh my gosh, let's get set and I hope it works. Ooh. Wow. Oh, whoa. That looks brighter well, than the know, other one. Like yes. Oh, you know? Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm you sold. I like this a lot because it fills up the entire room. The problem is. <laughs> it's too bright really, for you. You can't have it at eye level because it <laughs> does drive you crazy shining in your eyes. But up on the ceiling, there's just that little band where, where the two bulbs don't meet that there's a little bit of darkness. But the rest of the room, I, I like that. You can see, can you see the circles on the mm -hmm. wall? The circles on the wall, I, I like this a lot. Okay. Uh, so I'll tell you what it is. Boy, this is great. Um, let's see if we don't get tangled up here. You want to just uh, uh, pan over to that. So it's the Ho Chi, and I got to look over your shoulder here. The Ho Chi Tech six watt rotating LED strobe bulb, multicolor crystal stage like <laughs> double bubble head. Okay. <laughs> Um, 12 bucks. I got it on Amazon. It was Amazon Prime. And uh, 15 reviews, and it got 4 out of 5 stars. So it's not bad. And But to tell you the truth, I like it a lot. Um, and it's AC. Plugs into any lamp. That's it. Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at the Gizwiz.tv Disco Ballroom. Bye, everybody. Get your tickets at the door. Now it's time for the chat room to uh, to find the cheapest version. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Last time, no, it, I ended up spending $20, and now uh, they, they found them for $3.30. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh, it is three dollars and thirty cents. Yes, you paid twenty, and then I think I paid ten. Yeah. And the last one I bought, I only paid. Yeah. I may have bought it there. I may have got three dollars and thirty cents. I feel Amazing. like we gave this product the Gizwiz bump. I do not remember two thousand one hundred and twenty-nine reviews. No, I. You know what? I think we did. <laughs> uh, I think we did. Well, uh, we'll see if uh, if the the bump goes up, the, because that double light thing. The the the, uh, the first one that you just showed is three watts. <laughs> they even and, showed and, the other one. And this one is six watts, so it is double the output. Each side is putting out three watts, and it really fills my entire room, which is about I think this room is sixteen by twenty. Um, so I, I I think this thing is great. Yeah, I agree. I think it'll be a winner. Um, it, it's funny they show the old product of. Hey, you remember this. Now I remember when you got this. stuck buying that? <laughs> yeah. Remember when you were floored at how um, yo, that one looked? Yeah, so that's great. Uh, wow, I may have to purchase another. I was trying to get out my, uh, my other bulbs. Um, 
from uh, from my storage area, but I the set is a little in the way. Here we go. I can finally finally get to it now. Here's here's my old uh, old bulbs. I still have two of them here. I need to actually, you know. Yeah, one of mine froze. What one of my domes stopped turning. Um, and the second one keeps working. There we go. Yeah, you there it is. There it is. It's actually, funny. I happen to have a. There we oh go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh. Oh, you know what? You're not going to be <laughs> able. To, and you definitely can't put the new bulb. Does that harp come off? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look like it does. Uh, oh yeah, don't no. Worry. I think I'm stuck. Oh gosh. I hope my. Uh, I hope my. <laughs> My crappy corner fits in here later. Oh, uh, <laughs> I may be running downstairs to get a different lamp. Come, come, crappy corner time. That that hop thing doesn't lift off. No, it's it's welded oh on my, here. Oh, it's weld. Oh my and god. And then there's like some sort of uh, like wrench action, but I'd have to take a screw and take off everything. Oh, anyway. okay, okay. <laughs> Well, we'll put that down there. You'll you'll see during <laughs> crappy corner comes. Okay. Now people are saying squeeze it and it pulls off, but it won't, right? You're saying it's it's locked in. Is this, is this some sort of magical? Oh it, my no. gosh! What is this? Oh wow! There you go. I've learned. There you... wow. Boy, the chat the chat room gosh. is like. Gosh, this is a, this is like a thing that every of those do. Right. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, this is well, like the chat room. This is like the chat room puts on the show when you and I come in and observe. Yeah, exactly. Right yeah, now, yeah. of course, uh, the uh, <laughs> this uh, is the the studio all lit up here. I can come over here and and uh, grab the the remote. I've uh, I've actually recently um, put all the lights on a little remote here, so I can turn oh, off. Oh, look at you! Look at that! Isn't that cool? So we got the uh, the disc here. I set it on the ground. That's probably a more accurate representation of. Oh, oh, it's exciting, go. yeah. So anyway, that's the, that's the original. That's the original. Um, cool. Well, uh, I think that uh, I, I need to purchase the, uh, the second option. You need to get, yeah, and I was amazed because this one is kind of badly made. Uh, <laughs> is you, it? This thing, on one side, it, it's like a quarter of an inch from the uh, center section, and the other side, it fits snugly, but it still works. That's so nice. It's the okay. Dual, the dual thing. You know, even uh, even though that six is divided by two quite well, I feel like that put out more light than this one. This one hasn't been used very much. Well, uh, don't forget that that's three watts, and this yeah. is six watts. But you would so. assume six on each side would divide into three. Oh yes, no, yes, really right. Each, but, yes, but that looked but this, even better. I wonder. It did look brighter. It did yeah. fill this entire room much brighter than the than the first the old one. guy. Yeah. Okay, well, let's move on to the next gadget. Okay, well, it was uh, Prime Day on Amazon, and I love bargains. I figured I've got to buy something. And when I saw LED, well, I'll play the video and you'll see what I bought. Okay, so this is a Prime Day deal. A Prime uh, Day deal. Okay. Whoa. Hey, Dickie Bartolo and Maz Matters try to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. It's August in New York City. It's about 95 degrees out, and I bought gloves. <laughs> you can see why I bought gloves, because they are LED gloves. And you know, Amazon had a Prime Day, remember, where you could get stuff at a discount. And I thought, well, no, don't turn the line on yet because I'm going to show you. It's not just one pattern here. You can do fading like that. And let me get this switch. Whoa. <laughs> it's like they crawl and up you your can fingers. Do... Whoa, look at, look at, look at, look at. It takes so little to entertain me. And you can do blinking. <laughs> And you can do blinking blue, blinking green, and off. And then you can do that on either glove, or you get the gloves operate independently. Well, this is kind of nice, isn't it? Steady. I like the steady, too. This, You know what? If you need to hail a taxi cab... <laughs> taxi! Who's going to get the taxi cab? The person just going taxi, or the person going, Taxi! Taxi! Maybe the other person, because you look a little... Uh, let me turn the light on now, and I'll show you 
what they look like in the light. And in the dead of winter, you could wear them, I guess, as gloves. But why would you want to? Okay, let me turn that off and turn this off. Yeah, bum, bum. All right, so they are Lewint. <laughs> you know, when you think of gloves, you always think of Lewint. L-U-W. I just bought some. I, 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 the day uh, will LED come when I will gloves. be able to afford Flashing these Lewint. Gloves. Top uh, brand. I think they're pretty neat. And um, when I first bought them, I was thinking, what in the world could you use them for? And it says, one of these things on Amazon says, great for playing the piano in the dark. But who's going to listen to you playing piano with the these flashing lights? Uh, they're battery operated. They use uh, CR2032 batteries. The infamous. And you know, those are those uh, yes. rattled. They're, they're batteries about the size of a quarter, very thin. But they're cheap. You can get them on Amazon. Probably, if you buy a bunch of them, 50 cents each. And it takes, each glove, I believe, takes two CR32s. The only little thing about them that you'll get used to is the little on-off tag it is not over where the switch is. Um, and actually, you don't even need the on-off tag. I'm just leaving it on here to show you what it looks like when you take them out of the box. But if you feel around, you'll find a little but a little raised button which is on top of the battery compartment and that's what turns them on and cycles them through I think there are five or six different uh, little formats for this little, uh, LED programs and the cost is so there they are the LED color flashing finger lighting gloves uh, they were 12 bucks okay I bought them on Amazon day and they were 8 bucks and uh, that's it uh, now they're eleven ninety nine, and they're Amazon Prime. So that's it. The uh, Lewint LED flashing light gloves. Nick Bartolo, Man's Methodist Rider in the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you know, I feel like those would be good for uh, for bicyclists out in. Uh, you know, that's not a bad idea. You know. Go, be, make sure cars see you. Uh, I also feel like you. Any time I go to any, you know, winter or fair or or uh, you know pageant, there's always the guy with the uh, the glow in the dark sticks that you can buy for like five dollars. Yeah. And they've yeah. started now having LED gadgets. You know, a globe that has a spinning LED thing in there or something like that. Seems like something they would sell on a cold day. You know, in Austin, there's a winter. Uh, sort of uh, get together around a, a light up tree. Uh, that'd be great. That sounds fun. Yeah. Well, Captain Jay just bought three pairs. Really? Did he? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, uh, I bought uh, I bought those glasses that you showed a couple weeks ago. The uh, the the glasses with the built in headphones. Yeah. The, the blue. <laughs> Forget what they were called on the. Those, but those, these oh, things, they're the, yeah, they work really great. Yeah, these uh, these are the blue from Bluetooth Month. Uh, they have multi multimedia buttons on the top and uh, and little speaker things to put near your ears. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, these uh, these little guys, yeah. and they come in a whole bunch of different colors, and they're really inexpensive, yeah. and they even have different lenses. So. Yes, no, that was a deal, and they were like, uh, I forgot how much they were. No, someone in the chat room said, could you use them to make repairs in the dark? And I'm thinking, <laughs> not really. Man. There's no, I, I just cycled through them, and there does not seem to be any steady mode. Yeah, it so, seems like they're much more of a uh, novelty than a, yeah, a novelty utility. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, anyway. So well, cool. So those are twelve dollars. Uh, twelve bucks. Online. There you go. And oh my gosh! Someone just found. Oh, the conky. Oh Four. no! Here they are for eight dollars. Oh, oh my gosh. god! Dang oh wait it. a minute. You know I I. Oh uh, okay. Are they uh, here? Let me refresh. You here. know it what like they four. they and that they're looks prime. like. Uh. That looks like them, because my that that looks like them. Oh, you know what it is. But Except do they, they have the quality name? Soul. What was? Where's the? My my. Oh, mine are the. Mine the, are authentic. Luwint. Luwint. I don't know if these are Luwint or Zul. Luwint. 
Uh, I don't see that brand name uh, Lewent anywhere. However, they do look amazingly similar stitching yeah, wise. I would agree. I, yeah. I, I happen oh. to find, find some that were $7.99, but <laughs> they don't look at all the same. Oh, no, there is. A, I did see a pair on there that they looked long and ugly. Yeah, these look but, a little. But, um, the, they also look like there's a whole bunch of LED mechanism right in the fingertip, which. Oh, looks, yeah, that, that, those are different. Quite those annoying. are not these. But these, are, these, uh, these ones right here, these look exactly. They, they look the same. Yeah. They look the same. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, the, the $8.65 cent ones have uh, 16 customer reviews, and yours has 610. I, so yes. definitely uh, yours were the ones that were, uh, were available on Prime Day. But we yeah. were first. Yeah, first, <laughs> first. Okay, well, hey, thank, okay. thanks so much, Conky, for the, uh, for yeah, the cheaper Yeah, finding option. that out, that's great. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for the Dismas to get the Disco Light shower head. Uh, um, you know oh, what? Is there a disco light show? Yeah, head? there is. It it has it. Yeah, it hooks in, and then it's uh. If you may remember a product that would hook onto your sink faucet, and it would change right. color from blue to red depending on the temperature of the water. Um, and this is similar, except that it just does like disco colors and LED things. Oh, okay. Yeah, water, the years. Use the water flow. and Yeah. Yes. Years ago, there was at the hardware show, a long time ago, 20 years ago, there was a, it was called Shower Star. And I'm sure it's probably the same principle. There's a little generator in there that the, the water generates the electric to light the light. But back then, it couldn't change colors. It actually shipped with, with five light bulbs, screw in light bulbs. And before you installed it, you had to decide what color you wanted your shallow water to be. But now I'm thinking with LEDs, there's probably a way to make it change colors as you shower. Right. Uh, yeah. Cool. Anyway, a uh, final LED projector for the bedroom. So let's go. Oh, it's watery. Okay. Vicky Bartolo, Man's Madness Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I'm at the bottom of a swimming pool. A moldy swimming pool. Miraculously <laughs> talking through water. Okay. No, this is the Ocean Wave Projector. Okay, let me, uh, in the dark here, feel the buttons. And I'm going to have Dennis go back to the ceiling. So my favorite is the green. But then you can do green fading to red. Oh, a desert pool. Then you can do all three colors. Red, blue, green. Or plain red. I guess it's fading into the other colors, too. Oh, here we go. That's the solid red. And then you can do flashing, and then back to solid red, solid blue. This is my second favorite, the solid blue, and then the solid green. And uh, now I'm going to reach over and turn the light on, and now you can see what it is, okay? I'll move this into the light. It is the Abitech. Multicolor that brand ocean name. wave projector yes. with 12 color LEDs. So it's kind of neat. So the idea is this is for your bedroom uh, on the ceiling. Let it face the ceiling. Fall asleep as you lay in bed and, and see the waves on the ceiling. It shuts off automatically after an hour. It also has a little built-in speaker. So if you want to play music through it, <laughs> there's nothing that isn't a Bluetooth. Uh, and but it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, I see. I mean, it's not bad for the top of your night table. It does not do the beat to the music, but anyway. So we always play the Gizwiz theme because we don't have to worry about copyright infringement. Uh, so this is, these are the only controls. So the one button 
does all the changing of the lights. And then this is volume up and down. Now this is not Bluetooth or anything like that. It actually is a cable that plugs from your device directly into th this device and then it goes to the speaker. It is powered by AC with an adapter or it comes with a USB plug. However, this end of the USB plug is not standard. So you have to use the uh, a little cable that comes with it. The other end is a standard USB cable. So plug it into your computer, plug it into the AC adapter, or, ta-da! There's a battery compartment on the bottom, so you can make it totally portable. And I believe it takes four AA batteries. I paid $19.99, it seems to have come down a buck. So it's $18.99, and it's Amazon Prime. The Ocean Wave Nightlight Projector and Music Player Romance and Relax Effect. Okay. <laughs> I actually did very well. Almost 1,500 reviews, and it got four out of five stars. Victor Bartolo, Maz, Mattis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Just going to rinse my fingers off in the ocean. Bye. It's green, Dick. Don't do it. It's gross. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, the uh, you know, we used to have one of these over at Twit. Uh, One of these things? Not exactly this. It was like the professional version that made, oh, made oh, a. Oh, we don't want anything effect. professional. Yeah, who cares on about show. that, really? But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we we uh, we had it on the back of the uh, pillar. I don't know if you remember. Way back in the back, there was a pillar with a clock on it. And, yes, uh, I, we had a a DJ projector that was very similar. Uh, oh. But yeah, this looks cool. If uh, if you're someone who. Uh, likes a lot of light in your room as you go to bed or uh need to set the mood it sounds like uh this looks kind of cool it has a little motor yeah, in there I, to move a, a lens that creates the look of an ocean i know and also the, you know there's always there's always such fun copy on the boxes uh <laughs> or maybe it was on amazon uh you'll like this description it says um let me see projects a wide swath of undulating colors on our cathedral ceiling. <laughs> on our on our cathedral ceiling. What? What about what about my, my. my bedroom ceiling? I, okay, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, shut off. So it, it does shut off after an hour, and there are all the warnings: no dimmers. <laughs> don't put any dimmers on these. Just plug it directly into uh, USB or. You made me read AC. the copy on this side. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Trusted quality for best performance. Long life up to 20,000 hours. Save 80% energy. Installing or changing the lampshade, comma, please servicing the electrical. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, definitely, <laughs> lampshade, please servicing the electrical. Uh, yeah, I, I will. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank God they had that, because uh, otherwise you might do it without servicing the I electrical. might not service the electrical. Uh, please. Uh, gosh. Um, <laughs> always. Always something uh, on <laughs> in English. English. Well, that's great. Okay, cool. So another uh, uh, LED gadget. This one paints an ocean on your ceiling with lights. So that's nice. With lights, yeah. Well. And now, ladies and gentlemen... I've done my you three know, gadgets, you it, but you might want it now. Chad's Crappy Corner. Yes, Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. And Get it. I know that the patrons have picked Crappy Smart Home Crappy Gadgets. Crappy Smart Home Gadgets. Get excited. Uh, so, um, the thing that always jumps to mind, the first thing when I think of smart home gadgets is the Philip Hue. It kind of... Oh, yeah. It really solidified the idea of the Internet of Things in normal everyday products. That you could have a light bulb, if you're unfamiliar with the Hue does, it's a light bulb that has LEDs in it, really high quality LEDs, that can do all the different colors that you want RGB, but it also does a really good job of creating a natural looking light if you just need the lights to be on. And then you can set scenes and you can set uh, certain moods and then change it all from in the app. And it works well with other 
uh, with other you know automation technologies as well. Wink being uh, the one that's in my house. So uh, the one issue with Philips Hue is they are gosh darn expensive. Um, they're, they're like ninety bucks or something. It's right? like ninety nine dollars for like two bulbs or something like that. Let me let me go to the buy now shop now page. Uh, okay. And they, I, I haven't really seen these on sale anywhere. They all tend to be uh, about this price. Now, you might go to the Hue website and think, oh, $14 for a bulb, that's not bad. But that is only the white bulb. You do not get the functionality of all the really cool colors. So you need the ambience bulb, which is $30. And if you're going to get a normal set, this includes, it looks like the base station and a switch. It's a hundred and thirty dollars wow. for bulbs. Uh, wait a second, ambiance, Philips Hue ambiance. That actually may not be the bulb. That uh, that a uh, Hue white. Oh, that's white ambiance. We actually need wow. the Hue kit. Includes only three bulbs. Two hundred dollars for the base station and three bulbs. It cost two hundred dollars. Oh uh, my. Gosh. Yeah, let me see if I can just find just a single bulb. Here's a one bulb cost $60. So, wow. that's what I mean when I say the downside to Hue is that it is expensive. And really integrating your whole house with Hue bulbs is absurd. I mean, there's, there's at least about 20 bulbs to a house. You'd have to spend hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars uh, just uh, to get uh, smart LEDs. So I wanted to find uh, the competition. What, what am I looking at? Uh, now this isn't going to work with all the home automation that you've uh, normally heard of. Uh, it cost $20, so $10, uh, or no, at $60, that would be uh, uh, one third of the price. And this is what it looks like. Uh, this version, and there's a, a few of them, is the MiPow, M-I-P-O-W. And uh, it'll plug in, it'll screw in uh, in a normal medium socket. When you turn it on, it turns on like this. And whoop, I, I had it set to red earlier, so uh, I just had to remember, uh, remember its settings. Um, and then I use uh, a app uh, over on, uh, over on uh, my phone. And it will, oh, it looks like I'm looking at the tutorial. Let's go ahead and connect to the bulb. We are connected, now I can go in and I can change, sorry, this is probably going to cause a little bit of issue, we'll just put it over here in the corner. I can change the color, so I could change it to blue, green, red, you get RGB colors down there at the bottom or change it to white. Uh, then I can, you know, uh, change uh, the effect to be color and I have a whole color wheel and it updates pretty quickly. Uh, wow, I see that. I got to say, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with how... Uh, quick it updates now uh, the 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 biggest issues that I've had have been the app sometimes like it just crashed on me right when I was opening it up um, connecting the bulb it was pretty simple it kind of has a weird janky tutorial right when you open the app instead of uh, maybe it being after you try to start a, a bulb or having an easy tutorial once when you're adding uh, the bulb um, so the app is probably the biggest downside and also this bulb will not integrate in with really any other automation system, uh, which is a little bit disappointing. Oh, but okay. You also have not only, so you can also dim the bulb, which is, is pretty good. So you've got dimming within the app. Uh, that's its lowest, that's its brightest. Let's choose white here for just a little while. You also have effects. So you can go in, in between pulsing. Now what's weird is you had one color wheel over here. Let me go back. Uh, and this color wheel, you were able to go in between solid colors and make it a little bit more of a white version of that color. So you could have pure, pure yellow and then pull it down to be a, a much more white or yellow. But when you're on the effects, you don't get that at all, which is a little bit disappointing. So uh, if you want a green, you're going to go at a solid green. Uh, this will blink. You can change the speed of the blink, so it'll blink faster or blink slower. Uh, then you can do a pulse, which will do the same thing, except instead of a uh, immediate on off, it will uh, do a uh, a ramp up and down. 
You have rainbow, which goes in between the uh, the different ones. And this rainbow, if it's just a switch. It's a hard toggle between the colors. And then you have rainbow F, which rainbow F, I assume, stands for rainbow fade because it fades in between the colors uh, a lot more. Uh, then you also have candle, which what it will do, it, I don't know if it's super easy to tell, is it, it's flickering the color. So oh, you can kind of okay. see that the intensity is changing. Yeah. It, you know, is that bulb flat on the top? It is. It's totally flat. Here I can. Oh my gosh. I can turn the bulb off so you can see. Uh, 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 uh. You turn off. 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 There you go. Yeah, totally flat on the top. Uh, okay. So anyway, the ca candle mode does sort of like an intensity flicker so that it seems a little bit more. Uh, like a candle. Then you also have scenes, but the scenes are really, really, really crummy. First, I took a photo of my cat, and I don't know if you can tell, but it really squished that photo down after I took it. My cat is, does not look that squished. Uh, and there you go, you can see very Wait squished. a minute, you, 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 you took the, your yeah. cat's photo and put it into the app? Yeah, so like if I, if I take a photo of me right now, hello, hi. Okay, I'm gonna use this this photo of me, and then it squishes me down like <laughs> really badly. I don't I don't get it. Uh, so if I hit save and then uh, let me go back to actually turn on. Whoops, go back. Uh, turn on the light. Turn you on. There you go. So you can go over to your scenes and then basically pick a color using the eyedropper. Okay, let's try to pick. I'm gonna pick my hair here. I, there you go. I think that's my hair, uh, and and you could use that. So let's say you had a beautiful photo of the ocean, and you just needed uh, that to be your um, here. Let me see if I can add from my camera roll. And so now you do need to give it permission, the app permission, to go into your camera roll, which uh, was another a downside that some people were saying they really didn't trust the app developers. Uh, to give them access to um, to the camera because uh, they didn't want the app developers looking at whatever photos they had. Um, now there's no there's no evidence that they're like uploading it for themselves, but um, that is one permission that you have to give them if you want to enable this feature. Also on Android, uh, I do not believe that you can. You have to accept that when you install the app, uh, which is a little bit of a bummer. So. Um, I'm choosing a photo uh, from uh, one of my uh, recent uh, vac or vacations when I went on that cruise. So a really awesome photo of these blues. So if I drag this, I can, I can get a, a similar blue to what the, is supposed to be in the photo. That's the idea of, uh, of your scenes if you wanted to, to do that. So all in all, I'm not exact. The other issue, there's an, one more issue that I have is that its default white is very yellow. And I could not, even when trying to pick a color off of the color wheel, I can never get it to match um, all of my lights in my house I have set to uh, daylight, which I, uh, I forget the color temperature of daylight. But all of them are color temperature daylight. And that's because all my studio lights are color temperature daylight. All, I mean, the outside daylight is color temperature daylight. And so whenever I film something, I don't want there to be a very orange looking light uh, because we're filming inside. And so it's just a cheaty way for me to have everything uh, be the same color. So this being a tungsten uh, color was a little bit of a ups upsetting thing for me. So all in all, I feel like it's still pretty good. You're, I don't have any issues where the LED, uh, it's obvious that it's an RGB LED and you get, you can kind of see faint blue, red, and greens, which you can kind of see on some older and, and uh, uh, crummier LED lights. Uh, it still works. Uh, it does give a little bit of a, of, a, of a side profile, as you can see from the shadow of my hand. It's not just on top, which I was a little bit worried because of that weird dome uh, dome, dome-ness to it. So it has its pluses, but it definitely has its minuses in, uh, the app, in the non-functionality, 
uh, of working with other things. Um, and, but its plus, its big plus, is that it's only $20 for a, uh, a light. So if you were wanting to, uh, to have a party and have some mood lighting and really needed LED bulbs, it was the only way you were going to pull this off, well, you can get this one for $20. So uh, it's a lot less expensive. Is it on Amazon? It is on Amazon. Uh, right now, uh, the Amazon price is $20 and uh, prime shipping. Uh, and I ordered it just, uh, just what is it, two days ago on the 16th. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, so that is that. It, it, there's also a lot of knockoff versions uh, and possibly uh, even, uh, I, I don't know, maybe the original manufacturer as well uh, on things like Alibaba, AliExpress. Uh, where you can get it uh, probably even cheaper than than me, but I needed it to be on Amazon because I needed it okay. to uh, to be here. Yeah. So hey, yeah. is it Bluetooth? It's Bluetooth, right? Yeah, it's Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yeah. Right. yeah. So okay. I need Bluetooth on in order to run it. Okay. So if my phone is in a different room or or far away, but Bluetooth is, is as long as I can basically see the light, I can control it. Um, oh, they also have one more feature that is very 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 weird. Okay. It's the shake feature. You see this up in the corner? It says shake. So you turn that fe feature on, and then whenever you shake your phone, uh, there you go, it'll change to a different color. <laughs> okay. Isn't that exciting? This yeah. is the, the most exciting thing. Um, I, one of the reasons I think that this is added in here is because I was reading some reviews and they were complaining that the, it had a music sync functionality where it would change the color based off of the beat of the music. And it wouldn't work. That functionality wouldn't work. And so when I looked in my app, I wanted to go look for that setting and it wasn't in there. So I think they removed it because it was broken. And I think this shake setting has been, has been added <laughs> oh, I sh well, the, uh, just put the phone on top of your speaker. That's, I, I know. I kind of felt that way, but it, it's not quite as as sensitive. Oh, it's not. Oh, you know? I see. Okay. Yeah, I can't. This okay. is a padded. Yeah, it doesn't really work right. that way. Okay. Um, but anyway, so there's also that you get you get the shake feature. <laughs> Call it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and, but now one other thing that I've noticed is it's a lot brighter when it's on white than it is on any color. Any, any color I choose, it seems to go down by about a third of brightness. So this is red at its highest setting. Or, yeah, here's red. There we go. And then white is, like, way brighter. Yeah. So I think that's because it's using not all of its LEDs to, uh, to, to create that light. But that's another thing that needs to be said about it. So that is the Mi Pow, uh, the E26... Uh, LED Bluetooth smart LED light bulb app group controlled dimmable color changing decorative Christmas party light for iPhone, iPad, Android phones, or tablets. Uh, and it, it should be said that you can actually buy uh, multiple of these lights and uh, they'll all work within the same app, which is oh. nice. So if you want to buy a lot, you, you, you can control them each individually. The other neat thing is that it remembers its settings. Whenever it turns off, it'll turn back on. Wait, I have to do it twice because that's one of these lamps. And it'll switch back to the setting that it was previously after a, a, f a second. So there's that. That's, uh, that's the little light we got. Um, now let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse for Foghorn. And our letter says, hi, Dick and Chad. I made a video showing a gadget that's very UK specific. Hopefully it's not too short for you, you to use, but it's very simple but ingenious Perfect. Uh, there's not a lot i can say about it it's available on amazon and it's from steve bentley and here's steve's gadget hey dick hey chad it's steve here with a gadget that could have been a what the heck is it because this thing solves a very british problem 
You often want to take your phone charger with you to make sure that your battery will last the whole day. But our electrical system in the UK uses this really bulky plug. Really oh my big. gosh. The British wow. three pin 13 amp plug. It's a design classic. It's got some really great safety features. Tom Scott's got a great video explaining that a lot better than I could. Really good video. But it's not very pocket friendly. And that's where the Mew comes in. It's a folding USB charger. This one happens to be the original 1 amp version, but there are newer models for charging higher powered devices. So there you have it, the Mew Charger. A solution to a very British problem. A very British problem. That is a good video and a really cool gadget. And, uh, yeah, because those plugs are enormous. Oh my gosh, they're humongous, humongous plugs. Uh, and uh, yeah, th this is uh, quite a cool uh, little feature. Y you know what? Uh, is it wildly expensive? Can you go to that? It's that uh, 15 pounds, uh, which... <laughs> that, that's, isn't that pretty, like 30 bucks? Well, uh, the pound is doing so hot right now. Oh, that's right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, t that's uh, $19. It's $19. 19, um, okay. So, yeah. But here, we, we could get an adapter, an AC adapter to USB for about 5 bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, this does have that really cool feature of, of the folding because that plug that's is... That's true. That's true. ...so big. Um, but, yeah, that's... Uh, it's, I think it's, it's pretty cool. Let me see if I can find that Tom video because it's not too long. Um... Uh, d d d I'd have to go to uh, Gizzard's Um uh, Yeah, th there, there, there is a video if you haven't seen it on why the British plug is supposedly the safest plug in the world, um, which is actually a really, really, really neat video. And part of me kind of wants to play a little bit of it uh, just to show it off. Here we go. Um, uh, this is from uh, Tom Scott, by the way. Purposes. And okay. sometimes it's genuine, and this is genuine because I really. So need... I'm just going to jump in, and some yep. of the things that uh, oh, so he talks about. Safer. That's brilliant. What about if you leave the plug halfway out? Because American, European sockets, you leave the plug halfway out, you've got live electricity that you can kind of touch. You can get a finger in there. Well, not here, because on the live and neutral pins on the bottom, you can see insulation extends halfway through them. So you oh. can't accidentally in electrocute yourself. Uh, one like of the that. other crazy things is when he opens it up, there's a fuse oh, right. inside right. the plug, live is uh, which is insane. Uh, and then on top of that, the way the wiring is done uh, is so that there's extra slack on the uh, the ground, so that if these get pulled out, if these if some for some reason uh, the live and, and neutral plugs get pulled out, uh, that the ground will still be plugged in because it has that extra slack. Anyway, you should really definitely go check out wow. his video because he does a fantastic way of describing it. Search for British plugs are better than all other plugs and here's why, which is by Tom Scott. So big plug to him uh, for that video because it's, uh, it's very informative. But yeah. And but it is a big plug. It's huge. It's gigantic. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you compare the US plug, let me unplug this lamp. Don't, don't electrocute yourself. <laughs> When you, un yeah, right? I mean, why, why isn't there, you know, people, we could put insulation on the side of these plugs nowadays. You know, it's not difficult. Uh, but yeah, when you compare this size of a plug to the British plug, which is yes. about that big, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty outstanding, um, the difference. Um, but yeah, so uh, that is a nice, uh, gadget warehouse and fantastic video as yeah. well. Yeah, Steve Bentley, thank you so much uh, for sending that video. Very interesting. And now we learned about UK plug. You can go over there and you could stick your tongue in between the things and it, no, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, so if you want to make a video uh, and join the others who have made videos. Make a little video. It can be just about anything, like Steve showed us that neat plug. Uh, but we also love if you have some gadget laying in the garage or in the attic that doesn't work, but you can't part with it because you paid a fortune 30 years ago. Anything you want. Make a little video. 
uh, two to three minutes. It can be as little as one minute, like uh, Steve's was. Uh, make it, put it on YouTube. Put it down as unlisted. When you upload it, just click unlisted. That way, only people with the link will see it. And email us that link to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you're in the U.S. or Canada, sorry, Steve. If you're U.S. or Canada, we'll send you a Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman picture. He has a better plug. No need to apologize, Steve. <laughs> that's true. Or have that, a, no, be in the U.K. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Now, okay, thanks, Steve. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Let's move on to the letter. Come the letters. I got the letter. The letters. Here come the kids with letters now. Here come the kids. I said the kids with letters. I wish I had that uh, disco ball b- hooked up. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Our letter comes from Eric Schwartz, who, and it reads, The Gizwiz Netcast became famous by promoting toothpick dispensers. On one of the very early shows, Leo Laporte showed us the toothpick bird. Um, and Eric goes on to say, it's difficult to pick up a toothpick yourself, but the problem was solved by the famous toothpick bird, which is still being sold. There you go. It's still on Amazon for eight bucks. Basically, there's a little button in the back. You push it. The bird bends down, picks up a toothpick in his beak, stands straight up again, and you uh, take the toothpick out of his mouth. My, Steve my, says, now. Fr- so sorry. One of my no, first a- memories, just to have a memory down memory lane, of going to the brick house, uh, in fact, this would be the cottage, was uh, asking for the Wi-Fi password, and a Jammer B leans over and goes, it's Toothpick Bird. <laughs> and he expected, I unfortunately had not watched the Gizwiz with the Toothpick Bird, and I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> But uh, one of my first memories of the cottage. So anyway, okay, uh, uh, continue okay. on. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, no, that's no problem. Uh, the toothpick bird has now been modernized by the tooth saber. Why settle for a regular toothpick when you can have dual Darth Vader with his tooth saber? So we have that on Amazon. Do you have that link? Yeah, here it is. Uh, you know what? Is that possible that this thing is $100? <laughs> it's $100. I, uh, yeah, it's possible. In fact, I think it's true. Uh, and, and I think the, one of the reasons I think it's true is you know how they have the, the marketplace on Amazon. Other yes. sellers on Amazon, 101 105 109 the cheapest what? price, if you go and see the full breakdown, the cheapest price is $90 with $5 in shipping. So it's only $5 less. There's a lot oh of people my. selling this for over oh $100. My. So I think that's the real deal. Yeah. And, Chad, there's a link there to it in operation. Yeah. Let's check so this you can, out. Okay. So there he is. He, he, go, he swings over, his arm swings over, and then pulls out the toothpick from his cape. That photo does a really good job of hiding that door that uh, the toothpick comes out of. I, I, I feel like uh, it's a little bit more obvious right there than it is in the photo a that they, they use. A hundred bucks. Yeah, it is a hundred dollars. Oh, my word. For the Star Wars fan that has everything, uh, they don't have a $100 toothpick. No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, and I don't see anybody in the chat room finding a knockoff for $7, by the <laughs> yeah, exactly. way. Exactly. <laughs> Man. So, oh, my word. Well, I ain't getting one of these. Do you also Somewhere. have to use that specific type of toothpick that has the... Uh, you know, I wonder if it... Uh, you know, I bet you do. I you know, bet it's you $100. Do. You, you, you can at least get the fancy toothpick. Okay, yeah, well, least... um, hopefully they'll give you 100 of them with it. 
Wow. Toothpicks not included. Wow. So, yeah. Eric Schwartz, thank you for showing us something that I don't think anybody in the chat room is going to buy. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, fun trip down memory lane and... Yes, yes, you know, the toothpick bird. I, I do have a toothpick bird here somewhere. Christmas is just but. around the corner and, uh, <laughs> you know, I feel like that, it's like Bitcoin. It's just going to keep going up in price. So, might want to invest in our Darth Vader toothpick holders now. Uh, <laughs> very, very, very cool. So, thanks for sending that over, Eric. Uh, also, don't forget, we're going to get to learn what the heck is it uh, this uh, in just uh, like three more weeks. Now, the yeah, l oh, less than three weeks, like yeah. two weeks. The last Gizwiz, we're having the same. I remember when uh, we we had a Gizwiz that was we recorded on one month and then it, the episode came out the next month. Yes. We're gonna do that again in uh, in just two more shows, uh, if I remember correctly. Let me look. Yeah, uh, we will. Oh no, you know what? I'm. Oh wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> No, I guess yes, the first, yes. we'll be recording on the first, and the episode will come out on the second. Oh, well, I may have bought too many gadgets uh, for Chad's crappy corner then. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, we're going to learn in, uh, in just two weeks what the heck is it. So get over to gizwiz.biz and uh, get a guessing uh, to, to figure out what the gadget is. All you have to do, go to gizwiz.biz, scroll down on the sidebar, and there you'll see what the heck is it. Go ahead and click that. And this is the gadget that we are trying to figure out what it is. Uh, this is the whole gadget, not just, uh, not just a part of it. Uh, so that is, uh, that's obviously, I mean, obviously this is a, uh, Toothpick for an elephant, um, you know, obviously, uh, toothpick for an elephant, and, but if you want to guess what uh, this is, get on over to gizwiz.biz, there's 12 man magazines for correct answers, this man magazine right here, and 24 for uh, hilarious, funny, clever, ridiculous, and punny answers. Uh, so get a guessing over at Yeah, pun, we like punny. We like punny, we, we're a fan of the puns. Uh, also, we want to give a big, big, big heartfelt thank you to our patrons. Our patrons over on Patreon.com uh, help make the show possible. Patreon.com is a place for people to support independent content creators like ourselves. And uh, this is our Patreon page. Did they update this page? It's not showing information. It looks like they may have updated. Patreon may have updated our page here. Uh, but we thank our patrons so, 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 so much. E even just a small amount, even just a dollar a show would be so helpful. Thank you to everyone who supports the show and makes this Dunb show a reality. And uh, the patrons also get patron-only posts. You know, we're going to have to figure out my next crap, my next crap in yep. corner in just a few weeks. And if you want to be part of that process uh, with the straw polls over at patreon.com, uh, please, please do. Thank you so much for your support and your generosity. It really does mean a lot. You can watch the show live every Thursday. And man, we are going to stick to this schedule. Uh, we are, we're on this schedule. You know, we don't have a, a conflict for the next like <laughs> six weeks or something crazy like that. Uh, you can watch us over here at gizwiz.tv. That's our website where we keep all the archives of the show, the show notes. And links to subscribe on iTunes, YouTube, uh, and join the chat room during the show. Uh, we record at about 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time on Thursdays. But if you miss it, of course, uh, we have the shows here for you uh, to download uh, for yourself. And uh, all the links to the products and links to Dick's write-ups over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for this show. Do we have anything else to plug? The one thing I, yes, I want to plug. Don't forget a meetup on October 2nd. Absolutely. In New York, New York at the Boat Basin Cafe. Uh, please. It would be fantastic uh, to get people there. It'll be October Chad 2nd. will be there. I'll be there. In fact, uh, uh, I may be flying from Anaheim. I'm not sure uh. yet. I don't know. Don't okay. worry, I'm not going to miss it for anything. Okay, uh, okay. But I may be flying in from Anaheim because uh, 
I've been asked to do uh, something very special for uh, an organization that I really, really like. And so uh, I may have to be at TwitchCon on Saturday, uh, which will mean I'll, I'll be flying to New York. I may actually fly to New York. Anyway, if I don't know. It's all in the air. But I'll be there October 2nd at the Boat Basin Cafe. Uh, more details uh, to come. But uh, mark yes. your calendars. Uh, Becky will be there. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, I think that wraps it up for this episode yes, it does. of the Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>